What's going on guys? So I have a retro repaint for you today and actually this is a retro repaint that I have already done on this channel many years ago when all we had were the Hasbro dinosaurs to repaint. And uh, back then I did the uh, Series 2 Ellie Sattler hatchling uh, paint deco on the Hasbro and Kylosaurus. But now we have Mattel's awesome dinosaur figures and uh, figured that it would be appropriate and fitting to throw that uh, paint app on this awesome Ankylosaurus figure. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm priming it in white and uh, coating the bottoms of the feet in Mod Pods just to seal those up. So that white paint doesn't get scraped away when it's you know i'm taking pictures of it and stuff like that that's just to protect that layer and uh, using my uh, hair dryer here to kind of expedite the drying process because the uh, paint apps on this is actually fairly simple it's just white and then um, that's gonna be the base coat and now i'm going in with a nice light blue and uh, building up a uh, nice vibrant uh, light blue fade on the underside And now I'm going in with a dry brush and I'm actually dry brushing some of the uh, scaling in the sculpted detail with that white just to kind of blend it together so it's not a, a stark transition. I want a very nice smooth uh, aesthetically pleasing transition between the white and that blue tone. So I'm just hitting all the raised areas with that dry brush and then I'm going to go back in with my airbrush and tie it all together just sort of blending and fading that blue and that white together. So now I've got the shell taped off so that the underside doesn't get the purple overspray from the purple shell. And I'm going in with this uh, Model Masters uh, purple color. It's like a grape purple. And uh, I'm just going to apply a few light coats on here. I'm actually accenting the uh, deep ridges on the shell right here where the spikes are. And then I'm going to go in just to a couple of nice thin coats of this purple. I love the coloring of this animal. Uh, it does have a very wintry feel. And uh, if you have followed me on Instagram and saw the winter shots that I was doing uh, last Christmas, um, I used this one in a winter scene with some snow falling on it. And it actually looks really cool in a winter setting. I'll be sure to uh, throw that picture up at the end of the video. That way you guys can check it out uh, if you haven't seen it yet. It's actually a really awesome shot. So now I'm taking a fine tip brush and finishing off the shell by going in and painting all of the little side spikes purple. And then I'll take a little dry brush here and dry brush some of the uh, scaling on the back part of the club. And now this is the hold your breath moment of the repaint because this guy has tiny little eyeballs. So I'm painting the eye itself red with a yellow dot. And then I'll go back in with a tiny little black dot in the center of that yellow dot and then go back with a small little white dot in the corner of the eye to give it that light catch. It really brings this thing to life. Now the hatchling doesn't have painted claws, so um, kind of had to make a creative decision here. And uh, I like this medium gray color against the white skin. It uh, looks really nice together. Kind of has like, again, that winter feel. So uh, keeping all these cool colors together. Uh, now I'm going in with a, a very light blue wash and I'm washing it in between all of these little scales. It's going to give it some depth and dimension and then I'll go back in with a dry brush with that same purple kind of clean up everything and uh, just kind of fix it all up to make it look neat and pretty and then I'm going to seal her up with some matte varnish and she is done so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found the information provided useful and it's helped inspire you to get out there and maybe do some retro repaints of your own. If you do, remember to use the hashtag retro repaints on Instagram. That's the one I use whenever I post a retro repaint. And I follow that tag, so when you guys use it, I get notifications that people are using that tag, and it lets me check out all the awesome work that you guys are doing. So for more Jurassic Park-related content, you know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video.